Hey everyone, Esther here and welcome to my channel. I took uh, one week off, <clears throat> was away uh, for this special spiritual trip. I hope I can tell you a little bit more about my next videos. Uh, today I wanted to make a brief video about September and tell you quite a few few important days you should consider, especially positive days of September. September is really, really important month. Uh, it's one of the more eventful months of the whole entire year. One of the reasons, of course, because we do celebrate Rosh Hashanah in September and we celebrate uh, Day of Creation as well. So first, I want right away start for you to write in your calendar. It's really important. We have one of the most positive days. If you're planning to do something important, if you're thinking to activate some certain energy, one of the best days to do is the Day of Creation, which is, is going to be 25th of Elul. And in the... Uh, um, calendar we're going to have september 11 so september 11 this year we have a day of creation extremely important then we have a rosh hashanah the air of uh, evening of rosh hashanah of course friday you know this year it's not happened too often but we have the first day of rosh hashanah falling on, on shabbat and you know when it's falling on shabbat we don't blow shafar which is extremely important, right? But uh, Shabbat cover everything. This is how powerful Shabbat. I always say, uh, you know, my client, my student, we need to understand Shabbat cover everything. There's no high holiday exist and higher than Shabbat. And we have every every year. I mean, every week we have uh, we have Shabbat Saturday to celebrate. So we have a day of creation, September 11. Then we have a Rosh Hashanah start. So it's mean you have only a few days left to do some new stuff new beginning. I don't recommend because during the period of Rosh Hashanah until Simchat Torah, the uh, Pitka, Tova, we don't really do, I will give you the days, we don't really uh, start new stuff, not really recommended. But if you um, start to plan before and you just continue continuation, it's not the problem. But really new, new, better not to start. Now, so what we have here, on 15, 16, and 17, we have a days of judgment, two days where our souls will be judged in front of creation, all the deeds, everything what we did, and how for us to change, to move forward and to have blessed year to come. You know, I hope you're preparing yourself, your study for the Rosh Hashanah. Remember, one of the most important consciousness you can have on Rosh Hashanah for the two days, do not feel any luck. Do not ask from the place of, of luck. Do not ask because you feel you you miss and you really need that. No, come from the place of fulfillment and don't feel anything uh, negative about yourself. Do not even say inside of your mind any negative thoughts about yourself. It says in older book for those days, uh, the whole creation, all the angels, everyone, all the superior angels, the ministers, the um, the Mtet, you know, Mtet. We don't pronounce. I'm going to pronounce once Metatron, the minister of all the angels. By the way, we never pronounce his name without uh, using the holy text. We use him, we use his uh, just abbreviation, Memtet. So you should know. So Memtet, uh, he is bringing all his angels because he's the superior, right? And Eliyahu Anavi, Elijah the prophet, everyone, we will be really in front of creation. So those two days, it's really important to be with the people, important to be part of the community, not to be alone. Very, very important, okay? Because then you're going to have completely different judgment. Now, what's happened next? Very, very important. Start from 18 and until Yom Kippur, which is uh, Yom Kippur start evening Sunday on 24th, September 24th. We have very special period of time. Is the seven days. It's called Yom Chuvah as well. Is the seven days where those seven day represent each day is represent the uh the every day of the year to come for example a rosh hashanah we uh, we finishing on 17 so for example monday a uh, september 18 going to represent all the mondays of the whole entire year then september 19 all the tuesday until uh, yom kippur why what righteous Sadikim explained to us anything happen because we entering to the procedure, to the corridor, where we still under the re review, our files, our future karmic uh, year, it's under re review. So it's extremely important to stay so focused, to say, 
to stay in very positive, not, but not just fake positive, to understand what is really positivity, uh, what is really how you connect to yourself. Very, very important. Don't um, try everything possible not to have any conflicts with anyone, right? Because each day, the way how you're going to respond this day, the way how, what kind of outcome you're going to have this day, it potentially can influence your whole entire year. Extremely important, okay? Now, another thing I want to tell you, another uh, few positive days we have, we have actually September 6th. It's another good, really, really good day. Uh, then, like I told you, we have, uh, sub, uh, you know, 17 to 19. It's a, is, is well, it's a really positive days. But most important day, you should uh, definitely use September 11th. And it starts from uh, September 10 evening, 25 hours, until September 11, the whole day, uh, until evening, uh, sunset. Definitely, definitely use those days. It's really important. Okay, guys. Now, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen this week and the, this upcoming month. Sorry, my apology. This upcoming month, the most important events for you to, uh, perhaps you can mark, to put in your calendar, okay? So what's really what what's happened uh, astronomically? We have Mars in Virgo gonna stay during the whole month. Why it's important for us? Mars in Virgo because it's the planet of our, our activity, planet of our energy. Mars in Virgo, if you know how to use, is gonna really help you to become really good with, with your daily structure. Remember my video I made for Mars in Virgo. Please watch this video. It's extremely important. Use this opportunity. And remember, Mars and Virgo going to push you to judge, to analyze other people. Stay away. This is going to be like a poison for you. You don't want to go there. Just mind your business, work on your own process, and just smile to everyone, okay? When time to come to confront, when time to come to face, because there's a positive judgment too, right? Do it, but do it from the place of positivity, place of total care. If you want to confront anyone, your employee, your children, uh, your friend, don't come from place of righteousness. Then you already said the right answer. No, just come from the place of care and place of sharing. Important. Now, next one, we have a Venus direct, and she's uh, going to be direct in Cancer September 3rd, which is today. It's a great news because she's coming from the shadow and she still needs a couple of weeks to really gain the energy and to get uh, to get more energy in order to share with us, okay? So just keep in mind, still with relationship, she was a little bit been tricky with us with relationship. But this again, it's opportunity for us. What else we have? We have a Jupiter retrograde in Aries from September 4th to December 30th. I'm making video. Uh, uh, tomorrow I'm going to post this video for all 12 signs extremely important some of us going to be really benefit from it some of us need to pay a little bit more extra attention because you remember Jupiter it's a tzedic it's a are it's the righteous it's the righteous of the solar system when Jupiter going retrograde he's a very loving eye going to teach us and show us what things we need to redo what things we need to evaluate what kind of homework we can we can do and what really amazing about jupiter you know jupiter he's always represent our best interest of course you know he's not by himself in areas we have rahu and rahu he's good to, you know in other body he's a good body of saturn right not necessarily of jupiter so rahu uh slowly preparing to move uh, to pisces and uh, in the middle of uh, October, so we're going to change lunar nodes from Aries and uh, Libra to Pisces and Virgo. Just think about what it's mean. It's the beginning of the of the new karmic period of time completely. And it's uh, we're, we're entering to both signs, which is uh, going to represent, it's almost like a Rahu, going to be a, a spiritual uh, spiritual uh, spirituality on the uh, uh, steroids Rahu, I'm telling you it's going to be interesting I'm going to make another video what else we have here we have a new moon in Leo it's going to be September 14 of course it's going to be during the uh, Rosh Hashanah we have a Mercury direct in Leo September 15 it's a good news and now Mercury direct in Leo on September 15 because right now Mercury you know it's going to I believe when this this particular Mercury, direct in Leo, 
it's going to change it's going to change even certain it's going to change the foundation the way how we think because it's happened during the rosh hashanah because it's happened during such a most important cosmic event our souls winning the whole year we have opportunity to restructure our mind how we think why we think certain way how we can control our thoughts and how we recognize and to protect our mind from our thoughts especially when he more gonna move to leo the sign of ego royalty sign by sign of pride so we have opportunity really to humble ourselves down okay then we have a uh, sun we're going to transit in virgo in september 17 to october 17 of course by end of the rosh hashanah then we have a uh, full moon in pisces and um it's going to be september 29 it's going to be really really special and you know we're going to have eclipses as well we'll make a separate video so it's really important now because usually i'm making a weekly as well i'm going to show you what we're going to have a little bit uh, this week as well don't forget about sat uh, about uranus our beautiful uranus right he's gonna he's starting retrograde already and he's going to yeah, he's still he's still in uh, in areas and today by the way monday september 4th look what's happening here our beautiful moon gonna be gonna sit in between jupiter and uranus in canada it's long weekend by the way so i don't like this combination i'm telling you right away so just uh, stay away from uh, unnecessary debates and unnecessary conflicts okay what I do like, I like this Saturn. I like what Saturn is doing here. Saturn definitely supports us. It's showing us, guys, you need to understand something. Now, we before day of creation, Saturn loves this period of time. You remember, we were in the 40 days of frame between um, full moon we have, right? It was 15, 15 of Elul, uh, when we have two Be'av. Until day of creation, we have 40 days. This is the 40 days where we gain our karmic schedule. What's important about Saturn right now, Saturn before November 4th, he's showing us really deep secrets and lessons for us to understand before he's going to go direct. So please pay attention to your Saturn. You should uh, you should already know in what house it's at. Okay? What else we have here? We have a sun. Um, well, we have uh, Jupiter, we have uh, Mercury, real close, so he's kind of blind by sun as well, so it's definitely affecting our thoughts. Uh, let's go September uh, September 5th, our beautiful moon uh, coming out from, uh, you know, to be in Aries and to be, you know, guys, I do believe tomorrow, Monday, it's going to be, it's going to be a complicated day, okay? Um, and Neptune neptune gonna activate even more water energy another thing i want to i want you to guys to pay attention if you live close to water and don't forget the lunar nodes they're gonna change uh rahu is going to pisces which is he's going to be on steroid of the illusion when rahu in pisces he's going to activate uh the water fluctuation the water uh, gonna for the next year and a half for these lunar nodes waters will rise because the temperature will rise as well, you know, when it's in Pisces. So just pay attention. So our beautiful moon. So for you guys, Taurus, start from September 5th to September 7th. Uh, use this opportunity because when moon in Taurus is for two, especially for the Taurus, you're going to receive um, different ideas as well about the money, about economics, a lot of debates about economics as well. Okay. Now, remember, we have uh, Jupiter here going to be in the conjunction let me just go over here yeah on september 6 we have a jupiter uh conjunct sun uh just um just you know what if you're gonna have a hard time to focus and hard time to express yourself don't worry make notes if you have important meeting make notes nothing wrong to look at your notes the opposite when you have a note it's just showing the new prepare okay it's really really important of course uh, you know we have a mars um you know when mars in virgo as well he really really trigger our uh, health 
So pay attention on, according to your sign. Again, I made video for 12, uh, 12 signs and I specifically uh, separate explained for you what part of the body Mars effect, okay? So just, uh, just pay attention. Now our beautiful Venus, she's slowly moving from uh, Cancer. And we have September, uh, we have a Thursday, September 7, Moon moving from Taurus. She's going to Gemini. And we have uh, we have Uranus, you know, Uranus very close with Jupiter. And you know what Jupiter, he's expanding, Jupiter, he's a start, he's a retrograde, and he's getting closer to Uranus. And this is what I don't really like about the situation worldwide. So we, it's, it's not easy time, but you remember it's uh, in order for us to grow spiritually and to change the world, it's not about easy. I do believe every time, whoever, you know, the, um, the create the schedule, the cosmic schedule is done in such a perfect, beautiful way. Every week when I see what's happened, it's exactly according to what's happened right away. The story of the Torah, of the Old Testimony, what we what we read in the Torah of the weekly uh, of the weekly consciousness, and as well what exactly world going through. This is exactly how the combination in the sky is showing us. It's like the creator, the creation, whoever you know, paint the whole thing and put the schedule, cosmic schedule. It's exactly what we need in order for us for our spiritual growth. It's really important. But I'm telling you, we do have war wide energy right now in the sky because of the uranus as well because of the jupiter coming closer and then we have a you know we have a mars and uh, we have a combination you know saturn really required from us to while he's retrograde to really do our homework so we need to pay extra attention and i'm just going to go to friday friday our beautiful moon friday and saturday shabbat she's going to be in gemini so it's actually excellent because you're going to be more social. You're going to be more open emotionally, right? Uh, Venus is still coming out from her shadows. So, but again, Shabbat, we're going to use this energy the best way possible. Now, with regards to uh, Mercury, what I love about this Mercury for September uh, 7, 8, and 9, Mercury is going to provide us a lot of divine inspiration. This particular Mercury, because it's already 17 degree, he came out from the shadow of the sun, and he has a special divine position. So really, really use this Mercury. I love this uh, Mercury in Leo we have, okay? And then we have uh, Shabbat. We still have Moon in uh, in Gemini. Just be sensitive to other people. When Moon in Gemini, she uh, tend to be a little bit uh, careless how she speak, how we speak, and how we with other people. So just uh, just really uh, just pay attention how you interact and how you're trying to um, cross, uh, you know, the information or to cross your point, what you, you know, the, whatever point you want to make. Very, very important. Now, the lunar nodes. Lunar nodes in very interesting position as well. You know, they're already preparing themselves to be active in new positions. And look what's happening in direct sky. The lunar nodes, I'm talking about Rahu, uh, it's already touching Pisces, even though it's just September. But look at this, he's he already touching Pisces. This is why he's touching Pisces, plus we have Neptune in Pisces, and the whole combination, both in two degrees, you understand? Neptune two degrees, lunar nodes, Rahu in two degrees. It's like a... We need to pray. We need to pray to, for uh, to, for our Mother Earth. We need to ask for forgiveness. Everything what we did, because remember, we are the one who bring hurricanes. We're the one who bring all the disaster. Because this is how we with each other, how we interact with each other, how much we don't care for each other. We really need to understand this because and stay away from the water. Don't be closer to the water, especially in the West Coast as well. Okay, I don't really like what's happening with the water. We'll see. God willing. God willing, we're going to do our work on Rosh Hashanah and we can change the course of what's supposed to come, okay? Especially in 2024. And last, we have Sunday. Our beautiful moon moved to Cancer and she's getting closer to Venus. So definitely uh, on Sunday, next Sunday and Monday, our moon's going to be emotional but very loving. It's a good time 
definitely to take care of yourself, to take care of your health, uh, perhaps to even uh, look at your, um, you know, what in your closet, maybe something you want to clean up, to remove, very important, because moon, uh, when moon in cancer, she loves when we stay clean, when we stay clean on emotional level, on the physical as well, when we, you know, a clutter, she doesn't like, because remember, what moon in cancer in nutshell, moon in cancer has a hard time to give away stuff, right? She's like a collector. She will like, you know, she wants to keep everything. Maybe I can use this, maybe. And therefore, usually people who have moon in cancer, rising in cancer, instead of like a strong pond in cancer, you look at their garage, they collect stuff. This is like, they have hard time to give away. But I'm telling you now, before Rosh Hashanah, whatever your house uh, clutter with other stuff, I recommend for you to remove as more as possible to enter Rosh Hashanah uh, clean inside and whatever your surrounding as well. Remember, our as objects around us, they have very important energy. They affect in our nervous system, they affect in our health and the way how we think many times if you have too many things you're not using them they just suck in energy and you feel you have lack of energy you have lack of focus it's another thing for you to consider okay guys beautiful cool so i'm gonna what, what did i promise you i promise you to uh saturn i still need to give you saturn video and video on the jupiter definitely i'm gonna make video for 12 science because it's it's a big thing we're going to have jupiter jupiter going to stay for a long time for a while and um uh, in these positions retrograde so we better use this okay guys cool i wish you good luck uh many many blessings and i will talk to you soon bye, -bye.